call the public hearing to order today, <coughs> Tuesday, December 16th, 2014, 9.30 a.m. Mr. Moskowitz, could I get a roll call, please? Commissioner Tedesco? Here. Commissioner Henry? Here. Commissioner Hansen? And could everyone rise and please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Could I have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Here. Yes. Sorry. Here. <laughs> Awards and presentations, I see none. Public comment. Mr. Moskowitz, do we have anyone signed up for public comment? We do, however, they're signed up for the land use hearing. Okay. If you are signed up for the land use hearings, we'll hear your public comment then. If you do want to make public comment at this time, uh, please identify yourself and step forward and we can get you to the podium and you can make public comment now. If it's about the land use hearings, we will make time available for public comment at that time. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make public comment at this time? Seeing none, elected officials. Nope. All right, I have a short comment and that is Christmases coming up very shortly and uh, the holiday season means different things to different people and I just want to say on behalf of the Board of County Commissioners and Adams County happy holidays and whatever that means to you we wish you the best thank you all right consent calendar do I have a motion for the consent calendar so Go on. Uh, second <laughs> Commissioner Hansen Commissioner Henry yes Commissioner Tedesco Yes. Okay, county manager. Yes, this morning we have uh, actually 12 items for your consideration. Uh, the first four pertain to the 2015 uh, budget. Brad Boswell, uh, budget director, is here to talk through each of those items. Good morning. Bradley Boswell, budget director. At the first Hearing regarding the 2015 budget just last week, changes from the 2015 preliminary budget to the final proposed 2015 budget were presented along with the fund balance overview. Mr. Chair, fellow commissioners, you have before you three resolutions for the Adams County Government 2015 annual budget. There is one resolution adopting the budget, a second resolution appropriating sums of money in a third resolution summarizing the 2015 fees schedule. The proposed expenditure budget presented at this hearing is as follows. For Adams County government, $399,935,776. The proposed budget resolutions includes all changes per direction given during the budget wrap-up study session held on November 18th of this year. The proposed mill levy for Adams County government totals 27.042 mills, which includes an abatement levy of 0.263 mills. When the mill levy is applied to the net county assessed valuation of 4,678,982,760 dollars, net property tax collections in 2015 will total 126,087,000 $102. The 2000 mill levies by fund are as follows. General fund, 23.132 mills. Road and bridge fund, 1.3 mills. Social services fund, 2.35 mills. Developmentally disabled fund, 0 0.257 mills. That concludes our prepared remarks for the 2015 budget. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions for staff at this time? Seeing no questions, do we ask for public comment on this? So, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. The, is there anyone in the audience who would like to make public comment? Seeing none, do we have a motion? Do we have a motion? Commissioner Hanson, you want to make that motion? No. 
Are you going to be voting against it? Do you have concerns that you'd like to share with the board that you haven't shared in the past? My concern is this expenditure of an appropriate fund balance in the general fund. Is there a reason why you didn't share that with the other board of commissioners during the study session? And I gave it a lot of thought, and um, I'm just not going to vote for it today. So really, you, you didn't share any concerns at all with us then? Maybe you could have persuaded us or could have changed it if you had. All right, can I go ahead and make a motion on all three of them then? Okay. I'd like to move for the approval of resolution summarizing expenditures and revenues for each fund and adopting a budget for the Adams County State of Colorado for the calendar year beginning on the first day of January 2015 and ending on the last day of December 2015. I also would like to move for an approval of resolution appropriating sums of money to the various funds spending agencies and the amounts and for the purpose as set forth below and resolutions for the County of Adams County State of Colorado for the calendar year beginning the first day of January 2015 and ending on the last day of December 2015. Also a resolution summarizing a 2015 fee for Adams County State of Colorado for the calendar year beginning on the first day of January 2015 and ending on the last day of December 2015. Um, I also would like to make a remark at the fact that I'm really disappointed in the fact that Commissioner Hansen did not share any concerns during our several study sessions and discussions we had over this budget. Perhaps if he had shared his concerns, he would have had the support of other commissioners. Do I have a second? Uh, uh, did we include all four or do we need to or include the... Three. The fourth. Yeah. Oh, the fourth. The okay. Fourth item. Also, resolution summarizing the certificate of mill levies for the calendar year beginning on the first day of January 2015 and ending on the last day of December 2015. Did I get it? Okay. And I, I want to make a statement first, and, and I think it's very disappointing that, that we learn about this in a public hearing on the last day. Um, it's unfortunate. I think that we could have resolved any issues that we may have had with this budget before this time, um, knowing that the county needs to move forward and knowing that we've done due diligence on this on this budget. I would like to make the second. Commissioner Henry. Yes. Commissioner Tedesco. Yes. Commissioner Hansen. No. Nope. County manager next. Um, item number five um, is a resolution to award a request for a proposal to Colorado Frame for Auto Body Repair Service. Uh, Jen Tierney is here to talk through that. Good morning. Um, Adams County currently contracts with the firm to provide on-call body repair services for the fleet of cars and light trucks that occasionally need body repair. Proposals were opened on September 4th to consider the contractors to provide the on-call body repair services. Uh, the county received proposals from three contractors. Evaluations were based on pricing, references, experience, and the overall proposal. <coughs> After an evaluation by the committee, it was found that Colorado Frame was the most qualified proposer. The recommendation is that the RFP award go to Colorado Frame based on the best value to the county. The approximate spend per year is $108,000 um, uh, based on the past two years. Thank you very much, commissioners. Do we have any questions? No. No questions. Good to see you back. Good Do we have back. a motion? <laughs> To approve a resolution to work. Request for proposal to call our frame for auto body repair service. And second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Uh, item number six uh, this morning is a resolution to make an award to uh, Burt Camp and Transwest Trucks for a pothole patch truck. And uh, Jen is here to talk through that as well. Um, the Adams County Transportation and Highway Division operates two patch hole trucks used year-round for as-needed uh, pothole repair. Early this year, one of these trucks was brought into fleet maintenance for repair work. Uh, the unit 
was sent to an authorized dealer for a quote, and the quote to repair the body on this particular truck was $122,785. The cost for a new tank was $84,217. Uh, since both the truck and body were 10 years old, the cabin chassis and the body were 10 years old, and re reaching replacement age, Fleet made a decision not to repair the vehicle, and it was sent to auction. Uh, the highway division, along with Fleet, developed the specification for a replacement repair truck. Bergkamp Pavement Solutions and ProPatch HD Industries are two brands with a local authorized dealer and local maintenance support. Both companies have current bid awards that use cooperative language, which allows the county to purchase in accordance to policy. <coughs> After a thorough comparison, it was determined that the Bergkamp unit was the best fit for Adams County with a cost of $84,217 under the HGAC cooperative. Uh, the Pro Patch unit was $87,812 under the NJPA cooperative. TransWest Trucks is the local dealer for the Bergkamp unit. Um, TransWest Trans also has a uh, freight lighter cabin chassis through a cooperative agreement with CDOT in the amount of uh, $81,744, which includes uh, slight additions and deductions and an emergency lighting package to meet the needs of the county. The complete turnkey unit will be provided and the warranty will be serviced through TransWest Truck Center. Uh, the recommendation is to make the award to Bergkamp Pavement Solutions and TransWest Truck Center and the total amount of $165,961. Um, I'd also like to add in that the PO will be issued to just TransWest Truck Center since they both, they're both they the provider of both the body and the cabin chassis. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No. No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment on this subject? Seeing none, do I have a motion? I'd like to move for the resolution to be approved to make an award on Burke Camp and TransWest Trucks for a pothole patch truck. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Um, item number seven is a resolution accepting a proposal uh, from Drexel, Barrel, and Company for Professional Design and Surveyor Service for the Transportation Department. Liz Estrada with Purchasing is here. Good morning. <clears throat> The object of the project is to, des to design roadway improvements and associated pedestrian facilities on York Street from East 78th Avenue to Highway 224. The goals are to improve traffic circulation, provide an access plan, improve safety and capacity of the roadway, provide pedestrian facilities adjacent to the roadway that comply with ADA regulations, and design a drainage system for the roadway. Additional right-of-way may be needed uh, need to be acquired in order to accommodate the new cross-section of York Street. Proposals were open on November 6th of this year, and we received seven proposals. We followed our normal RFP process for solicitations, and after completing the evaluation process, the three firms with the highest score were interviewed by the evaluation committee. Drexel Barrel and & Company and Icon Engineering tied with the highest score, in the event of a tie, the firm with the lowest cost proposal is selected. The recommendation from the Transportation Department is to award the project to Drexel Barrel & Company in the amount of $243,215. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment at this time? Seeing none, do I have a motion? Sure, I'd move to accept a proposal from Drexel, Barrel & Company for Professional Design and Surveyor Services for the Transportation Department for York Aye. Street improvements. I second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Um, item 8 is a resolution accepting a proposal from Alfred uh, ben Benichet & Company? Benich. Benich. Okay, close enough. Uh, for the preparation of the American with Disabilities Act uh, transition plan for the public right of way in unincorporated Adams County for the uh, Transportation Department. Liz, you'll talk through that. The development of an ADA transition plan is a requirement of federal regulations which state that all organizations receiving federal funds make their programs available without discrimination towards people with disabilities. 
Consequently, the county is required to create an ADA transition plan. Part of this effort requires that existing conditions data, conditions data be collected um, of our accessi accessibility assets. The data collected will be managed by the Transportation Department through the county's asset management system. The request for proposal was posted through our normal process and we um, received two proposals from Alfred Bennett and Company and meeting the challenge. They were both invited to present um, to the evaluation committee early in October of this year and they also were um, invited to have an infield uh, demonstration discussion um, to discuss their proposal. Due to the proposal cost exceeding the budget, the county requested a recommendation from both contractors on which facility evalu evaluations could be deferred to a later date. Both of them made statements suggesting that the county complete the transition plan in a timely manner and, a and to practically complete the regulations with the regulations. Therefore, county staff encouraged and concurs that the phasing of the transition plan is not recommended and the supplemental funds should be approved to complete the project. After reviewing the proposals and completing the evaluation, the committee recommends to award the project to Alfred Benich and Company in the correct amount of $289,978.50. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a statement at this time? Seeing none, do I have a motion? I move for the resolution accepting a proposal from Alfred Bennett and Company for the preparation of the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, transition plan of public's right-of-way in unincorporated Adams County, Colorado for the Transportation Department. And I move for its approval. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Um, <clears throat> item number nine, uh, for your consideration is a resolution approving a change order number one to an agreement between Adams County and Icon Engineering for engineering services during the construction phase of the Carroll Way project in the Transportation Department. And Liz Estrada is here again. Proposals were received last year on January 10th and for engineering design services to reconstruct roadways, install curbs, gutters, pedestrian sidewalks, and handicap accessible ramps that comply with the Americans Disabilities Act for these street improvements. Icon Engineering was selected as the most qualified firm to provide the de design services for the project. In an effort to maintain project design consistency throughout the construction, the Transportation Department request, requested a price quote from Icon to provide engineering services during bidding and project construction phase of the project. The Adams County Project Engineer considers the price of $11,533 fair and reasonable and recommends awarding this phase of the project to ICON. Thank you. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment at this time? Seeing none, do I have a motion? I move to approve a change to order number one to an agreement between Adams County and Icon Engineering for engineering services during the construction phase. Second. Oh. There's a misspelling in the title of the resolution. Um, phase of the Carroll Way project for the Transportation Department. I second. Second. Yeah. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you. Item number 10 is a resolution accepting a proposal and warning and agreement to DLR group for professional design services at the Park 1200 building in Westminster, Colorado. Uh, Kim Rowland is here to talk through that. In May of this year, the board approved the purchase of the property at 1200 West 120th Avenue in Westminster. This building will be renovated to house the human services groups. A formal request for proposal was posted on the Rocky Mountain bid system to consider architectural firms to provide the professional design services required for the building renovation. Eight firms <coughs> submitted a response. The evaluation team reviewed the proposals for qualifications and fees. Based on the evaluations, proposed price, interviews, and references, the evaluation committee recommends that DLR group be awarded the contract for the professional design services in the not to exceed amount of $2,390,200. Thank you very much. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment at this time? 
Seeing none, do we have a motion? I move for the approval of a resolution accepting a proposal and awarding an agreement to DLR Group for Professional Design Services at the Park 1200 building. Same. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Um, all right, number 11 uh, this morning is a resolution approving an agreement between uh, agreement between Adams County and Adams County Economic Development Incorporated for Professional Services. Kristen Sullivan, Economic Development Director is here. Good morning, Commissioners. Um, the county staff has been working with Adams County Economic Development for the past several months to establish a contract to work in conjunction with ACED's <laughs> budget request. Um, ACD submitted a budget request of $484,768, which was in the approved budget that was just approved today. Um, historically, there's not been a contract in place to guide the expectations for the services provided to the county by ACED. So the draft contract that's attached includes the following general provisions. <coughs> quarterly presentations to the BOCC by ACED. The first presentation of the year will relate to the county's approval of ACED's annual work plan. Subsequent presentations will cover the progress towards um, the annual pr work plan. The um, payments will be made on a quarterly basis in accordance with the schedule of those quarterly updates to the board. The contract clarifies the roles and responsibilities of ACED. Um, it includes performance measures such as a minimum requirement of 100 retention visits per year. It also clarifies the process for negotiating incentives, presenting those incentive agreements for approval by the board and processing incentive payments in accordance with those approved agreements. Um, and finally, the draft contract states that ACD will be responsible for implementing a survey of Adams County businesses, and we will coordinate um, between the county staff and ACD uh, and as far as the content and the method for implementing that survey. Um, and so staff recommends that this contract be approved today. Any questions? Questions? Commissioners? I have a short question. Did you have a question? I have a short question, and the performance measures that you talk about are something that we are implementing countywide, is that not correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we're trying to have the entire county fall under and be very explicit on what they're doing, how they're doing it, and what that effect is for our constituents. Yes, and okay. this effort fits within our um, broader effort to establish performance ma performance management throughout all county departments. And so there are economic development performance measures, and we're working closely with ACD to establish what those are, what those are um, create baseline data, and then measure progress over, over the coming years. Great. Thank you. Would, is there anybody in the audience that would like to make a comment on this subject? Seeing none, do I have a motion? Move to approve a resolution uh, adopting an agreement between Adams County and ACD for professional services. I second. Commissioner Hanson? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Our last item this morning is a resolution approving amendments to the Adams County Employee Manual. Uh, Brian Osler, Human Resources Director, is here to talk through that. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Brian Osler, Human Resources Department. Uh, Amy, Amy Berger, Human Resources Manager. I'm going to have her just give you a, a brief summary uh, of the resolution that's before you. The Human Resources Department maintains the employee manual, and we've been working over the past year in collaboration with the County Attorney's Office on updating the manual for modernization, clarity, and improvements. We've provided the recommended draft to the elected officials and the department directors and provided a one-week time frame for feedback and questions. We presented the recommended changes at the study session held on December 9th and are here today presenting a resolution to adopt the updated manual with an effective date of January 1st, 2015. Thank you. Commissioners, do we have any questions? No questions. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make a comment at this time? Seeing none, do I have a motion? I move for the appro approval of the resolution approving it. Amendments to the Adams County Employee Manual. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> All right. That, that about it for the county manager. So we will go to the county attorney. Good morning, commissioners. Um, county attorney is asking that the board go into two executive sessions today as time allows. 
Um, the first is an executive session pursuant to Colorado Revised Statute 246402-4B and E for the purpose of receiving legal advice and negotiation strategy regarding potential development at DIA. Do we have a motion? Similar. Second. Commissioner Hansen? Aye. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. The second executive session today is an executive session pursuant to Colorado Revised Statute 246-4024-F for the purpose of discussing personnel matters for the annual review of the county manager and the county attorney. Motion. I move that we go into executive session for the purpose of discussing personal matters for the annual review of the county manager and county attorney. Second. Commissioner Henry? Yes. Commissioner Hansen? Commissioner Tedesco? Yes. Okay. Being the end of new business for today, we will recess until 10 o'clock and resume with land use. <laughs>